to Black Mom Who Wines. I'm so excited um, that you guys are still with me. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. This is my fourth video and we're going to hope that today we don't have any issues. Fingers crossed. I know I said fingers crossed last time, but today I think I'm going to make it through without any problems. Um, I've decided that I'm going to probably try, I'm going to probably end up ditching the editing because I kind of suck at it, as you guys see. I mean, I'll probably put a little bit in here and there. I'm going to probably, I'm going to always reference my son because it's black mom who lies. And what would it be without me putting a little bit of my son in there? So, or in here. So, um, let's go ahead and get started with it. Um, like I said before, I'm going to always be drinking out of a different glass. So today's glass is a polka dot glass. I had polka dots the first time, but these are pink and purple polka dots. Um, and this glass has my name on it. When I worked at one of the hospitals that I worked at, um, my coworker, she gave everybody one of these for Christmas. And so yeah, I prefer stemless wine glasses, but I'm gonna drink out of this today. And I do have quite a few glasses that have stems on them. So don't judge me. This is the first time that I'm going to be drinking out of a glass with a stem um, in like a year or so. So I I don't I, I'll probably hold it funny, but because um, I do prefer a stemless glass. But this is the cup that I, or the glass that I'm going to be drinking out of today. Um, so yeah. Let me show you guys what I grabbed from Kroger. Um, if you haven't noticed, I love Kroger. That is my go-to store. Um, so yeah, I love Kroger. So today, I grabbed some skinny girl. Skinny girl, skinny girl, skinny girl. Skinny Girl, the wine collection. I am not familiar with this brand of wine. I have seen it in the store. I think they have um, like liquor or something like that. Um, I was trying to read up on the website what they have, but I just Googled um, Skinny Girl, the wine collection. So, um, so yeah. Why I chose this particular bottle is because today it was hot as crap outside and um, I decided that I need to go run my miles. Um, I run, well I didn't, I kind of ran them, I uh, ran three miles in the morning. Um, today is Saturday so I didn't have to go to work and my baby is gone. Um, yeah, it's his weekend to be with his dad. So I got up early this, well not early this morning, I stayed in the bed since I didn't have to worry about him getting up or worrying about him crying for me to get him out of his crib. Um, so I got up because a heat advisory came across my phone saying that at noon there was going to be a heat advisory. So I had to hurry up and get out the bed and run, go to the trail. It's a three mile trail near my house. So I did my miles. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so I did my miles and I was like, okay, Michelle, you got your workout in for the day. So you don't want to get nothing too, you know, too calorie-ish or whatever. So I'm browsing through Kroger and bam, skinny girl. So I was like, okay, let me get that because I'm trying to be skinny. So that's why I got skinny girl. My story was all off, but that's why I got skinny girl. So I hope it's good. I'm not a fan of Pinot Grigio because most Pinot Grigios that I have are dry and I am not a fan of dry wines. Um, but this wine on the back of the bottle, when I read it, um, it's all oh, I read it to you guys. It says, there's no better way to spend the evening than in the company of our exhilarating skinny girl, Pinot Grigio. Just 100 deliciously bright and crisp calories per serving. It tempts the taste buds with flavors of pear and green apple. Mm, excuse me. Delish. <laughs> Every locale glass is a fresh and invite is as is as fresh and inviting as the last. So this is why I chose this particular Pinot Grigio. Um, on a normal day, I would have not chosen a Pinot Grigio, but like I said, I had just finished working out, so that's why I chose the Skinny Girl. Um, and then when I read the back of this bottle, 
it said that it had pear and green apple. So I like pears and I love a nice cold crisp green apple. So I figured, okay, it might be dry, but if I can taste those fruits, I might be able to deal with it. So we shall see. I know for sure it's going to be dry for me, but I have not had a Pinot Grigio in a very long time. So who knows? Maybe my palate has changed. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. We shall see. But that's why I chose Skinny Girl, because I'm trying to be a skinny girl. 100 calories per bottle, and I think it's like 300, I mean three servings per bottle so you want to drink your calories for today 300 calories get you a bottle of skinny girl all right let me read y'all what the actual site says um because the back of the bottle is enticing so but the website says about this pinot grigio let's see if i can get this together it says Here's a lady who needs no introduction with her light, sweet, and perfectly crisp flavor. Our Pinot Grigio speaks for herself. She's perfect to compliment your party, sure to please her e even the pickiest palate with her bright, delicately, delicate, sweet flavor combination. Plus, she gets along with just about anyone, from crackers and cheese to more decadent dishes. Pair this Pinot with a variety of platters. So next time you entertain, invite our Pinot Grigio over an elegant yet effortless addition to any affair. So it's saying that, you know, it pairs well with anything, uh, pretty much anything. So we shall see. But I chose to pair it with um, an apple turnover um, just because from my past experiences, um, Pinots are very dry. So I chose to pair it with something sweet. So the, the, um, the apple turnover, like I said. Um, and I chose the apple turnover because it said that it has the flavors of pear and green apple. So that's why I chose the apple turnover. So let me get my music going and we gonna try this Pinot Grigio and we gonna see. I sure enough ain't gonna be no skinny girl eating this apple uh, turnover because I'm sure this sucker got tons of sugar in it, but it's all good. Um, This bottle was, I think, a little, might have been just under $11. Um... I threw my receipt in the trash. I was looking for it before I um, sat down to start my video, but it was just under $11. But like I say in all my videos, wherever you guys are located, the prices may vary. If you go on the website, I'm sure you can find it cheaper or more expensive depending on where you are. So let's get into it. Let me turn my music on so y'all can't hear me chew. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm so scared to taste this, y'all. I'm so scared. <laughs> I really am. I really am. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. It doesn't smell bad. I can smell it as soon as I open the bottle. So, let's see. And it's nice and cold. It, is, it smells good. It smells a little bit dry, but Ooh. <laughs> I know this is gonna be dry. It just reminds me of going to a wine festival and knowing that like sometimes when you go to wine festivals they they split the dries with the sweets and so Back when my friend, like my friends and I, when we were younger, we would just drink them all because we wanted to get wine drunk. We we're like, we spent our money on the ticket. We're just going to drink it all anyway. So knowing that the white dries were coming, this is what that, this is what this smell reminds me of. But let me go ahead and, and give it a try. like that <laughs> Woo! I don't 
really care for that. <laughs> um, woo. Let me try it. Let me try. Let me try this again. My eyes are starting to water. <laughs> Woo! Um, I don't. <laughs> let me let me take it. Let me try this again. Oh my gosh. Oh, flying out. Okay. So at first sip, it was very, very dry. Very, 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 very dry. Second sip, it was a little bit better. It was a little bit better. Let me go on and have me a, a, a bite of my, my apple turnover. Maybe that'll make it a little bit better maybe I can play the sweet and dry y'all my eyes are starting to water <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> lord have mercy I was not expecting that my, for my mouth to do that but when I say I have not had a pinot grigio and like it probably it's probably been like a year it's probably been more than a year because i was pregnant last year and it's probably been like maybe two probably over two years okay i still haven't done my research so i'm going to drink it with the turnover in my mouth and we'll see how that goes okay mm, i'm so nervous to drink this again That's a little bit better. Y'all. I can't get down with this. I do, um, I will say I do taste the pears. And I can smell the apple. I didn't, I didn't even get to say that in the beginning. But. I can smell the apple and taste the pear, so it, it's it's very. It, it's just how it says. The, the description isn't wrong. It tastes just like what it says, and is is dry, <laughs> dry just like I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. Overall, I don't think it's a bad wine. I think it's something that um, if you are if you're not a sweet person or if you're not somebody that needs um, something that has a, a some sweet notes, like I think if it had maybe like if I don't like maybe maybe like a, a half maybe like a teaspoon of sugar in it, I could probably do it or maybe. I don't know, or maybe if I cut up like some strawberries or something like that and like put some fresh fruit inside of it, not necessarily make it a sangria, but I don't know, maybe that would depreciate the fact of it being um, a Pinot Grigio, but personally, Pinots are not for me, but like I said, this is me trying new things, randomly picking out bottles, so this was a first for me, <laughs> but it, it's, I don't think it's Technically, it's not a bad wine. It's just something that it's not for me. My palate, my choice, my taste. So, if you want something that's lighter on the calorie side, go ahead and get you a bottle of Skinny Girl. It's pretty. It has light, fruity notes um, of apple and pear. You can definitely smell it, taste it. Go give it a try. Thank you guys for watching. See what I pair next week. Follow me on Instagram at Black Mom Who Vines and see what I pair next week. Hopefully I like it. If I don't, oh well, I try something new. Maybe you'll go try it and you taste it for yourself. Goodbye. <laughs>